Hi everybody, it's Carolyn and welcome back. And today it is time for Friday Flips and Flops. This is my first one for the new year. And I hope you all had a great holiday season and that I just wish you all just so much joy and happiness and health, of course, in the new year. And so, anyway, I haven't shown this little bundle in a while. And you'll be surprised how much she's grown. She's probably about mm, four pounds now, maybe a little above. And it's my little pixie. And so now she's looking like a big poodle because she's got her little poodle haircut. Of course, she's got on her little um, hoodie today because she's she gets rather cold. And so she, yeah, I mean, when I got her, I, I first showed a picture of her, you know, she was just laying on my shoulder just like a, she kind of looked like a, um, a woolly worm or something. <laughs> but she's... She's about as big as she's going to get, we think. And um, she has quite a wardrobe now because she, she does get cold. And so she's, uh, she's learned a whole lot of things. And so she's into a lot of things. <laughs> but anyway, I just thought I would show you her. Oh, look, she's going to be shy. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let me let her go play. And Teek's down here, too. She's... Tink's having a mood today because um, um, Pixie woke us all up very early and when she, you know, when it's just turn on a switch, she's wide open. And so Tink is not happy with that whole situation, you know, she likes to sleep in in the mornings. <laughs> but today I thought I would show you a few things that I got for Christmas. We just started doing like Dirty Santa, but not dirty. The women buy for the women, the men buy for the men. And we draw numbers and, you know, my nose is itching. Um, we draw numbers and then you can steal up to like three times instead. Two or three times. Anyway, so I'll show you what I got from that. <clears throat> I, uh, <laughs> I saw this and bless her heart, my, my uh, nephew uh, brought his girlfriend and um, my sister stole for, from her first and actually he stole the present that I had bought from her. And so then it was my turn and I stole from her too. So she probably thought she was getting picked on, but <laughs> when I saw her open this, I just, I wanted it. And for a couple of reasons, but I'll show it to you first. First was this bag. It's got a long, you know, crossbody, and it just looks like this. I love the colors on it. So you got a heavy zipper right here, and a big pocket, and so uh, then on the back, there's another, you know, big pocket back here. And my sister made this, and so she, I just, you know, she since she retired. She started taking sewing classes, and she, she takes several different things, you know. She stays busy. And so, you know, when I saw it and how cute it is, and then she made it, then I really had to have it. <laughs> Even though if I would ask her, I'm sure she would have made me one. <laughs> so anyway, this is just perfect to take shopping or the grocery store or, you know, somewhere you just don't want to take a heavy purse. And I just loved it. And I, like I said, I love the colors. So, the other thing that was in the, the uh, package there was this quilt. And I loved it. <laughs> so it's just, it's a, you know, a lap quilt, more or less. And so, I love yellow. I love sunflowers. The other side is just all sunflowers. So, <laughs> this is to me, you know, one of the best things ever when they're handmade, you know. Um, I mean, all gifts are special, but when they're handmade, it's just, you know, I don't know, just, I just really like it. And it's, I'm very sentimental on that kind of thing, too. So, this I'll keep forever and, you know, 
pass along to Andrew. So, anyway. Or maybe they'll have a new grandbaby one day. <laughs> so, I got that from my gift exchange. Then, um, I'm, Natalie and I, Natalie the Beauty Diva, we send things back and forth to one another. And she sent me a lot of stuff. <laughs> and I just love it all. But there's one thing that she sent me, and I've used it every day since I got it. <laughs> and this is the, and I, I've never had this, and I, I've wanted it, and I just have not ever gotten it. It's the Soleil Tan de Chanel. This stuff, I worried that, you know, I love my Smashbox contour sticks, you know, so much. But this is is perfection to me. I mean, I've, I've, I wear it every single day. And so I've got it on today. And, oh, I just love it. I just love it. I use it with this little um, Morphe brush. This little slanted one. And just, oh. And it's got that Chanel smell to it. <laughs> so thank you again, Nelly. I love this and everything else, too. But, oh. So I, I probably squealed a bit when I opened this. <laughs> Another thing is, I got this a little a while back, and I haven't shown it to you. I'm going to do a what's in my purse. But this is the first high-end purse that I've had. And it's a Dooney Bark. And, you know, it's the small satchel. It's got your handles here. Got little tassels on both ends. And then it's got your, you know, strap too. And, oh, I love this thing. So, I, uh, I got that. I've had it for a little while now. I just have it. I wanted this perfume. I, I, I know I'd mentioned it. And because it was one that I could wear. I got a sample of it. And I love the scent of it. And it didn't give me a headache. And so, my husband got me this for Christmas. The Chanel Chance. This is the last one they came out with. And, oh, oh. Love it. And he gave me a new office chair because my other one was, well, actually, I'm sitting in my old one and it's, it's pretty flattened out. <laughs> of course, I've had it for a really long time. All right. Another thing that I got that I have had now for a little while is these boots. These are Lucky brand. I got mine at Belk. They're like tennis shoes to me. I mean, they are so comfortable. Um, they are leather, and it's got this rubbery kind of sole. So, I mean, it just, you know, it just bends and moves with you and just a little bit of heel. So, they're just... Oh my God, they're so comfortable. And the more I wear them, the softer. I mean, it's just, these I can just see having for a really long time. Um, I think these were like, I'll link them below. I'll try to find. Okay, now let's talk about some not so, you know, I did the video with uh, Elle and a, a lot of other ladies. And it is, you know, what we want to use up in 2016. And hopefully I'll be adding some more products to that because some of them I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to finish. And there's two I'm going to mention. First is the Benefit Pore Professional. I think this is what's breaking my face out. Ever since I started using it, my face has been breaking out. And usually I don't have it as bad on that side as I do on this side. But I mean, it's breaking out. Wherever I put it, it's breaking out. So... I don't know for sure if this is it because I'm trying a couple things, so I want to give it a while longer. But um, I, I don't love it as much as my uh, cargo one, that's for sure, or some of the others that I have. So anyway, it's it's um, it's just not a favorite right now. And then this is just a flop. I'm going to continue to use some more of this though because. Why not? But I, I really don't see that it's doing anything. And it's the John Freed Up Frizz Ease. 
and it's supposed to eliminate frizz, humidity protection, heat protection, soothe, hydrates, and tames. My hair right here, since I've gotten older, has just gotten dry right here. I've used hair mask, I use a conditioner when I'm in the shower, and then I put in a leave-in conditioner as well, and you know, put it right here. It's still, I don't know. So I thought, well, maybe this would help it. But it doesn't. I don't see that it does anything. Picked up a couple things. And it was before Christmas. Um, what I wanted to try out, and I have tried it once, and I'm, uh, I'm, I can't really make a, you know, decision about it yet. I think it's a little light. Um, it's the NYX, what do they call it, mascara color. Um, brow gel. This one, I don't like the wand on this one. You know, it's bigger. I don't like the wand on it as much as I do the one from the L'Oreal. And this one, like I said, it was very light. And I usually do get blonde, but I don't know. First try, I, I wasn't impressed at all. I didn't really like it so much. But I'll try it again. I also picked up this little set um, that they had at Ulta from Becca. And it had the under eye um, corrector. I've tried this a few times. It's okay. I have to be careful with it. It, you know, it's okay. This little, oh, isn't that cute? It's a little pressed um, mineral, mineralized skin, whatever. I can't think today. Um, this is in Moonstone, I do believe, like this. I do have it on today. And I do like that. I love this. This is, I think this is in, um, I think it's Opal. Yeah. And this is one of my favorite highlighters from Becca. I'm not even going to open it. I've got one open. And I, I love these. these are, this is one of my absolute favorite highlighters. I've been wanting to try this. And it's the Bobbi Brown, um eye repair, extra eye repair cream. So I, that's what I got with my um, coupon from Sephora. And so far, I really like the way it feels. I could, I may can see a little difference, but not a lot yet, but I need to use it more um, because my, my eyes, my under eyes are in horrible shape and my lids as well. So I'm hoping that this is going to, you know, do... I know Miss Kristen, 321, she loves it and said that it, that's what turned hers around. And so, um, I definitely wanted to try it and see if it would do the same thing for me. <laughs> I also bought something that's going to be hard to show you. I was watching Laura from Make, uh, Shake Up Makeup and she purchased this. And it's just a clear acrylic... And it, it's, you know, a couple of shelves. There's a little pull-out thing in the middle. Um, and it spins, you know. And so I wanted something like that to put all of the makeup that I use daily. or Especially for the stuff that I have out to use up for 2016. I wanted to have it just right here where I would see it. And it was a constant reminder to use it. And so... They had this at Bed Bath & Beyond. I think they were $29 and, you know, I had a 20% off coupon. Um, I see Sephora has one now. I think it's $99, but this one's fine. I mean, you know, I don't, it's not something I'm moving around a lot or whatever. I mean, it spins around fine. I like it. So, uh, <coughs> when she showed that, I was like, that would be absolutely perfect for me to keep all the stuff that I want to use up. And just to have stuff out that I use every day. Because I had stuff in different little containers. I wanted to put it all together. So that's working out perfectly. Um, anyway. I hope to get back on a schedule. I know I've said it before. I'm going to say it again. I, I hope to get back on a schedule like I used to be. And also my comments. I've heard other people talking about it. And I sat down the other night and just spent a couple hours just trying to answer comments. And then, and I wasn't, you know, paying attention. I hit reply, you know, and I type in thing and, you know. 
and I kept going and you know because I'm way behind and then I look back up later and I'm scrolling through and there's like maybe half of them that went through I don't know because I was trying to see at first it seemed like it was more of um, other youtubers that it's not coming through I don't know um, because I have seen it happen with you know people that don't make videos as well so I don't know what's going on with that hopefully they will get that fixed soon um, because it's just it's just a pain I showed you the adult coloring book that I had purchased and I have bought several more and I'm really really enjoying it and I thought I'd just share with you a couple things that I did I know somebody asked me said well why don't you just show one a week or something and I don't know but this one is the Joanna Basford Enchanted Forest these books are so nice um, so here's a bird that I colored and you know I'm trying to learn to shade I think that's one of the best ones I've done <laughs> Uh, I love to color flowers, so anytime there's, you know, flowers, that kind of thing, I like to do those. This one has a lot of flowers in it, you know, like stuff like that, and I won't bore you to death with it. Um, a lot of, hmm. This one has all kind of fashion stuff in it, which is fun, and like I did this one, I mean, you know, they're just... You just sit there and, and sometimes I'm watching TV or sometimes I'm watching YouTube videos and I just start coloring. And there's a bunny rabbit. <laughs> and I just get kind of lost in it. I mean, it just, uh, this one I think is quite pretty. I mean, you know, but there's some, I've watched some videos and they just, they just blow me away because... They just shade and make everything with their depth, and uh, you know, I, I haven't learned all that. <laughs> but uh, I'll keep playing with it because, like I said, I really enjoy it, and it is a, uh, a really good thing to do for me before bed because it just really relaxes me, and you know. So I just pick one out, and I don't work on it to finish it right then. I just work on it to enjoy it and so it might take me a day it might take me you know a week and whatever time I have so anyway I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and I will see you on Tuesday take care my friends bye bye